OK, hi Callum. This is just a little reminder for you about indices or powers, <coughs> as they're sometimes called. Um, that's where you write one big number, which is the base number, and then you put a smaller number a bit up high, and that's the bit that's called the index, or I call it the power. Most people do too. So, for example, if you have 2 to the power 4, that's a shorthand way of writing 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So when you're writing out what it means, the base number is the only number that you write. But you write it the number of times that the power tells you to. But 2 to the power 4 only contains multiples of 2. You don't get any 4s in it. OK? So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is the same as 2 to the power 4, which actually is the same as 2 4s are 8. Rubbish. 2 2s are 4. 4 2s are 8. And 8 2s are 16. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16. So what if we had 2 to the power 5? Well, same sort of idea. You only write the base numbers. But you write it 5 times over, the number that the power tells you. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And that, I suppose, is just one more 2 on top of 2 to the 4. So that would be 32. Suppose we choose a different base number now. Suppose we choose 5 as the base number. Supposing I wanted to write 5 to the power 3. And see what that equals. Well, again, it's only the base number that we write out. So it's 5 times 5 times 5. You write it three times because that's what the power tells you to. And by a similar kind of reasoning, 5 to the power 4, again, you only write the base numbers, the 5s, but you write four of them this time because that's what the power is. Supposing I wanted to multiply two of these power numbers together. This only works, by the way, if they got the same base number. So suppose I wanted to multiply 5 to the power 3 by 5 to the power 4. Well, I know that 5 to the power 3 is that, and I've got to multiply that by 5 to the power 4, which is that. 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Well, now it's just like a long string of fives, so this must be a new power of five, mustn't it? Five to the power what? Well, let's count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven of them. So that must equal five to the power seven. And I suppose the quick way of doing that would just have been to add the two powers together. Five to the power three times 5 to the power 4, but you write the same base number, but you add the powers together to get the answer, even though it's the times. OK, new example. I'm going to do some dividing now. Suppose I had, let's say, 4 to the power 4. Well, that is the number 4 written, multiplied by itself, 4 times. And suppose I'm also going to have 4 to the power 3. Well, again, you only write the base number, but you write it 3 times, because that's the power. Suppose I wanted to work out 4 to the power 4 divided by 4 to the power 3. Well, I know that 4 to the power 4 is 4 multiplied by itself 4 times. Oops, times 4 and divide, I'm going to use that, that way of doing the divide, divide by 4 to the power 3, so that's 4 to the power 3. Oh, lots and lots of 4s, but because we've now got them uh, set out like a fraction, 
we can actually cancel them off. A four above and below cancels. And that four and that four cancel. And that four and that four cancel. And you're only left with one four. So four to the power four divided by four to the power three just equals four, or four to the power one, I suppose you could call it. And if we notice, the other way of getting that is we're just taking away the second power from the first one. Even though the numbers are being divided, to get the answer, the power is this power minus that power. 4 minus 3 is 1. So when you multiply them together, you add the powers. But when you divide them, you subtract the power you're dividing to get the answer.